Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys inside our transformer, 2.2 megawatt transformer we have at this farm. Showing you guys how everything is set up here. How we are gonna be pulling our wire to all of our containers. If you think that's interesting, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to cryptollc.org. If you're looking to set up a GP or ASIC mining farm, we provide that service for everyone. Doesn't matter what state you're in, what country you're in, we can set up a farm for you. We also sell GPUs and ASICs. Right now is the best time to jump in. So if you want to buy some ASICs, S19s, what's minor, some GPUs like 3080s, 3090s, 4080s, 4090s, 1660s, whatever you want to do, we have that available on our site. Go to CryptoLLC.org. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth. Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so we're running parallel runs to all of our panels. This saves us money on the copper, and you can see... How we're doing that so basically each uh, each panel has two runs going to it each run is composed of four coppers these are four out copper so we have the neutral which is this white one right here this is neutral then we have brown right here that's a b is orange and c is yellow that's our three phases coming in they're different colors they're not red and, uh, and blue because it's high voltage 416 you use different colors here for this transformer this is a 416 transformer it's running on or being cooled by oil see the gauges here liquid temperature pressure you now your oil levels all that stuff here here you can see the three phases coming in directly from the pole so it's taking the three phases here, powering the transformer. Transformer is transforming those voltages down to 416. 416 is then coming out of these three phases and the neutral, and they're being sent to our containers. The voltage coming in here is about 14,000. It's like 14,000, maybe 12,000, somewhere around there. So if you touch that, you die. Uh, right now it's not powered on, so you can touch it. And, uh, once it's transformed, it comes out at 416. Other transformers, they come out at 240, well, 208, 208, 240, around there. So basically, each leg would be 120, and the combination would be 240 or 208. We're not doing that. We're doing a 416, and this transformer, this transformer 416. Actually, you can see the information here. This is a Maddox transformer. There it is, KVA, 2.2. It's 2.2 megawatts. 416, 240, you see that LV right there? And then here's your tap. These are different voltages it can accept. A, B, C, different voltages. And I think the one we have is 12470 is the one this transformer is accepting. So 12470 is coming in here and then being converted to 416. These three, this is for extending or kind of like daisy chaining transformer. So you have your main power coming in, 12470, right? From the uh, poles and then if you had more than one transformer you can then redirect the power through these three and then it'll continue on to the next transformer we only have one transformer at this site so we're not doing that you see they're empty we just have our three poles coming in and here's your tap right there being set BCD you know and so on and again we are at a 12470 and you can see it right here being set I think it's probably like the default most likely because the other ones are just BC they don't have an A here so it looks like it's probably the default is A and then if you want different voltages now why do they do this they do this because in different states you might have a different voltages coming off a substation it's powering the city or powering your farm whatever it's doing and that different voltage um, needs to be converted correctly. So you can't just accept any voltage. The transformer needs to be set. Hey, I'm converting, you know, 12470 down to 416 or, or hey, it's a different voltage coming in. I need to do a different conversion. Um, so the transformer needs to know what you're feeding it. And you have to manually set it. The transformer does not know unless you set it. You force it to run at that. And uh, you don't want to force it to run at a voltage that it can't handle or a voltage you can't convert or it's actually going to improperly convert it. Let's say you tell it we're running at 12,470 but it only receives 11,000. Then in the end you're not going to get 
you know, 240 per leg, you might get like 220 or 210 or 200 or whatever it is because it's just wrong. You don't want to do that. Um, here's our conduit here. You see we finished up these two. These are good to go. LB bars. Those parallel runs are coming in. So this is one panel. We got one run, two run. That's why it's called parallel because there's two of them. Ethernet and then we got additional conduits there to then pull the rest. Let me walk back to the transformer here. And you saw those two LB bars finished, I just showed you. And that's those two pipes right there. Going directly to that container, I just showed you those LB bars. And you can see them right here. LB bar number one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. By the way, I can show you guys some close-ups of how these lugs are, or how the copper is screwed with these lugs. We're screwed on. These are special brackets you buy. You can see this one here? This is the C phase, yellow. You buy these special brackets, see them attached right here. That gives you more ports. So these are kind of like ports, basically. And if you have a lot of connections coming into a transformer, you need more ports. So we had to buy additional ones because it actually, you know, actually we didn't have any at all. This transformer came with no connection. So we had to buy a connection. And you can see it right here comes in a set of two, so we plug them in there, and that gives us um, all the ports we need. We have way more ports than we need, actually, because we're only gonna be using one side, just this one side. We're not gonna be using this side over here. We don't need to. We're just be using the right-hand side of every single phase here, A, B, C, and the neutral, and running it just like that. They all come with grease. You see that grease there? And the grease is for aluminum runs, if you're using aluminum for your conduit or for your wire, right? We're not doing that, we're using copper. But if you're using aluminum, then you're supposed to be using this grease. And this transformer just came pre-greased, which is great, you know, but technically you don't really need it. I mean, you can, might as well, you know, it's already there. You know, no one's gonna remove it, we're not gonna remove it. It's, it's better than nothing. Well, actually, no, it's, it's, it's the same as nothing for copper, but for aluminum, you do need to have it. Just an interesting little detail for anyone out there that's uh, interested in transformers and how they're run and all that stuff. They do come with that grease. So what we plan on doing in the near future, next couple of days, is running the rest of these wires to all the panels we have, um, run the rest of these, and uh, set up our panels, set up our breaker kits, our breakers, our lighting system and then we're good to go we can call in the final inspection and once that's passed they're going to power on the primary meter the transformer everything we can start mining so theoretically we should be able to start mining here in like the next two weeks so if you guys don't want to miss that make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel subscribe to this channel um, like the video share it all that stuff because uh, pretty soon we're going to be running s19s in low power mode very good option, very cheap miners, and you run them in low power mode, gives you good efficiency. You don't have to spend that four or five thousand for S19 XP. You can actually get uh, very good pricing by just running them in low power mode. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and until next time, bye.